Very good afternoon. My name is Alok Shrivastava and I'm from Network Nuts YouTube channel. So you can see my Facebook page. This is really strange. This is the first time I'm showing you my Facebook page. Actually, just uh, the Facebook page is not uh, here that I wanted you to uh, see my pics or anything. I am going to show you something that was very close to my heart. This is a small video of my Mitsubishi Cydia. I drove this car uh, some two years ago and I love this car, beautiful car, amazing engine, amazing performance and I had modified it. So like I had uh, modified the muffler, the your exhaust systems, everything. So I'll just share this video and just see the beast roaring right just see this oh sorry just just listen to the voice see this you will love it let me increase the voice yeah baby this was my car loved it So like he is requesting one more time please Push it harder That's what the request is Wow I love it I really miss my Mitsu Okay that's great I hope you like the sound I really love my car And I really miss my Mitsubishi so just close this and let's come back to the video so what's in this video oh just forget these pictures just ignore them ignore them ignore them right so this in this video i'm going to show you how to use puppet auditing feature and how to use the no op feature to have a more elaborated report on the puppet so I have my setup here with me. So this is my server, the, the machine with a green background. And the other machine is my client. This is my client machine with a blue background. So the communication is already being done. I'll just check it whether the agent is able to communicate with the master or not. Perfect. So my the blue machine is able to communicate with the green machine. Fair enough. Now, what I try to do, I'll explain you the audit feature. So audit is actually a feature of Puppet by which the Puppet will intimate you or inform you about any changes which has occurred. I'll just show you a very simple example. Suppose I go to my ETC Puppet manifest file and here is my notes.pp. I want, and this is the address of my slave machine, the machine with a blue background. So what I want that if somebody create or modify I'm just giving a, a very simple example if my ETC password file is modified on the blue machine so I should be notified so what I can do I can just write a file resource and put audit on the ETC password fair enough I just write here audit all audit everything that's all I need right so what it does it create a baseline of the file which is currently on the blue machine so i just save and came come out i just run puppet agent hyphen test verbos so it has just created the baseline of that particular file here now if i create a user account if somebody because the blue machine is a remote machine which is being managed remotely by the puppet server which is the green machine so if somebody trying tries to create a user account here or somebody tries to change some password or like anything say if I show you my ETC password file I've got a user here Jack so what I do I'll try to change the password of the Jack so it is being done locally on the remote machine password Jack I uh, change the password 
and I create some user account user at say Sparrow right so when I had added the user account that means I had modified the ETC password right so what will happen the next time when the puppet will run because the audit feature is there it's going to inform you look ETC password contents has changed so the audit will update you update the uh, you that somebody that something has changed here so this file is changed that's great that's a very good feature that in case somebody change the state of the resource between the uh, puppet runs the puppet will trigger you uh, alert fair enough but it doesn't tell you which user has been created what modification has been done right so audit feature is actually it's like something kind of like creating a baseline for a, a resource a resource can be a file or a package or anything and it keeps on monitoring the resource so that it doesn't change from that particular value because the file has changed as soon as I create the user account locally the file has changed from what it was stored earlier so it gives me a message that's great but I want to be more specific I want that the puppet should be uh, showing me that what has changed it it merely tells me that the file has changed but which user has created which user has removed it's not going to sh show me th that detailed information so what I do for that this is where the video starts actually forget that Mitsubishi CDR roaring sound and uh, uh, I know you cannot forget that sound even I cannot forget my car this is a, that was a beautiful car oh my Mitsu okay come back to the video ah. so what I do I create a manifest here a module so I go to etc puppet just to make it easier to understand modules if you remember this is the same uh, uh, module that we I had used in in my last video so I just create a module here say user audit name can be anything mkdir user audit I go to user audit I create a folder manifest you know all the rules of the game now inside this manifest folder I create a file in init.pp wow so I create a class here obviously the class name should be user audit the name of the module yeah now I just create a default type for the user with capital U so by default I'm sh saying that no operation no oop is true so when I use okay I can write here I am specifying user default to enable no oop with capital U right this is what I am doing now what I do I try to create a user account now creating a user account with a simple cat small u and then any name what name you want me to give say uh, Mitsu wow Mitsubishi right so I give the name as Mitsu I say ensure present this is cakewalk for you I know so now I am overriding the value no oop false so you can override override the value I can write here creating a user account and override the default no so this user should be created and I can you can use all the attributes that can be used while creating the user account so I'm just giving a simple manage home true that's it I'm not going uh, for the bash shell and comment okay let me give the comment I love it so this is say Mitsubishi MU CDI right and home can be specified home can be say home Mitsu whatever I close this now what I'm doing because the no hoop is true so it it won't allow you to create the user account it it's 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 going to update you but I want that it should not be done for the service accounts right it should be for the user accounts. those are manually created so I'll just write here I'm just what I'm doing I'm purging any user in the no op mode right 
so what it does it it will report it will actually report the user that are not system users right or users which are exempted from this check right so what i do here i create a resource type of resource it's a special resource type name resources resource I specify here user now i can specify the purge is true and say unless system uid or user so it's true and then i can give no op true sorry and then close the class so i just write close class here here right so this is it i just save and come out because now I want it to be included for that particular host so i go to etc puppet manifest notes.pp i'll just write need to write here include user audit right i just write here include user audit and i can just safely comment these out to show you great so now if i go back here and run the puppet test right see here these sparrow should be absent because you have created it manually right but the user that i had created using the class the name is mitsu is not coming because for that value you had overridden overridden it see here if i go to etc puppet modules user audit manifest in it .ppc here mitsu will be created and you will be getting no message regarding the mitsu so if i show you etc password mitsu is there so if i try to create another user here say toyota and if i try to run this puppet agent once again see here even the toyota is coming that this user should not be there so you in this case when you use the resources so it's doing the audit but it's now giving you a much detailed information about all the you the users those are the system users here like willy dummy toyota but it will not include that you user in the alert message which you have created using the resource right so this is how we uh, can use the audit feature of the puppet in a much more better uh, manner so that the report will be much more uh, like it's more clear more crisp and you will came to know what actually happened whereas if you remember in the earlier case when i had used only the audit it will merely tell you that the file has changed but what has changed it won't show you so see here now it is showing me the changes what changes are being done right so willy user your dummy user your toyota user sparrow user these should not be there should be absent should be absent right so this is how a puppet can be very useful obviously you can create reports and other things that can be done if i do a cat var log and puppet sorry cat var log it should appear here also see this being run compiled for the slave right and the reporting we'll be covering the reporting in some other video not this video here the objective was just to show you the feature of puppet auditing and the benefit of using the no oop so that in case there is a modification in any of the file the puppet is going to give you a very clear report what has been changed like especially in this example because i had used a user uh, resource to so any user created on the remote machine will be 
given the puppet is going to give you a right and clean and very specific alert I hope you like this video but like, like obviously for this uh, to do all these things you need to have the basic knowledge of uh, puppet and creating the master and the server architecture uh, so I hope my previous videos will help you in that and thank you once again thank you for watching and subscribing the, the channel and see you again soon bye take care god bless I'm stopping the video now